Hi everybody, so good to be with you again for our Transform Tuesday. It's always great to be with you to talk about the transformation that happens in our life as Christians, connected to God through His Spirit, through Jesus Christ, His Son, the blood of Christ, washed us, cleansed us, and made this relationship possible with Father God. As Jesus was raised from the dead, we now have the same Spirit inside of us, which means we can live in the transformed life, in the resurrected life of Jesus Christ. One day, it will show to be eternal life for us. Amazing to be with you. And I'm going to share a few things with you today on the transformation of life. It is Transform Tuesday and how your life can be transformed. Think about how many of us upon this earth are looking for fulfillment. Now, most people are looking for fulfillment in the wrong places. And we see it through um, people trying to fulfill it by buying more stuff. Filling up their life with stuff around them, whether it's a better this, a better car, a better phone contract, a better neighborhood, a better whatever it is. You want to increase all the time. And there's nothing wrong with increasing your lifestyle. But if that is, if you're looking for fulfillment in those things, it will never fulfill you. Sometimes we're looking for fulfill, fulfillment in other areas, whether it be in the area of our um, relationships. And we go for the wrong relationships because we're scared to be alone or whatever it might be. But God wants to fulfill you through the relationship that you have with Him. And transformation happens because of that relationship. Now, we cannot find fulfillment in the temporary things around us. We cannot work towards our salvation. We have to receive it by grace through faith. Ephesians 2 verse 8 says, You have been saved by grace through faith. By grace, God's part. God gives you unmerited favor. He doesn't hold your sin against you anymore. But you must come by faith, believing that He is the Son of God, that He was raised from the dead. And you have to confess that and believe it in your heart. And therefore, you will be saved. Believe on the name of Jesus. I want to read you a scripture that it was a powerful encounter. When we encounter Jesus, He transforms us. Now, this is not an encounter we're talking about in a church service, but this was a real encounter with Jesus uh, physically and it was a woman that was in need now I don't know about you but Jesus encountered me Jesus encountered you maybe on that day or maybe you're still asking for that encounter to meet Jesus listen to what it says here in John chapter 4 this is the encounter of Jesus and the woman at the well now Jesus was alone at the time and his disciples had gone into the village verse 8 to buy some food the woman was surprised for Jews refused to have anything to do with Samaritans. She said to Jesus, You are a Jew and I'm a Samaritan woman. Why are you asking me for a drink? Remember, Jesus asked the Samaritan woman for a drink. Verse 10, Jesus replied, If you only knew the gift God has for you, who, are, who you are speaking to, you would ask me and I would give you living water. But sir, you don't have a rope or a bucket, she said. And this well is very deep. Where would you get this living water? And besides, do you think you're greater than our ancestor Jacob who gave us this well? How can you offer better water than he and his sons and his animals enjoyed? Jesus replied, anyone who drinks this water will soon become thirsty again. But those who drink, listen to this, the water I give you will never be thirsty again. Oh, isn't this powerful? It becomes a fresh bubbling spring within them, giving them eternal life. And there's the water. The difference between the physical water that can temporarily make you feel like your thirst is quenched, which it does, towards the eternal water, which is the water of life which Christ gives us. The Word, Spirit of God inside of us brings us eternal life. It springs up into eternal life when you drink of the water that Jesus can only give. It also speaks in the Bible to us in, in John. Further on, it speaks about the living water that fills your belly. The Holy Spirit beginning to live inside of you, which brings eternal life through Christ. And this is the water we need to drink from. This is the relationship we need to cultivate. Is the one with Jesus. This is what will transform your life ultimately. Other things will be added unto you, physical, material, all these things. But if you seek the kingdom of God first and His righteousness, these things will be added unto you. These physical things, the clothing, all that stuff will be added unto you. Matthew 6.33 this is a powerful principle in life. So many of us are looking right now, even as Christmas, Christians, for fulfillment in the wrong places. If I could only find that right thing, if I can only find the person that makes me happy, 
You have, to, you have to come to the place where you're found by God first before you become fulfilled and can live a life in Christ, which will lead then to other things. The balance needs to be right. The, the priorities needs to be right. The relationship of Christ must be first in your life. And now if you drink of that water, it will spill over or a well will spring up within you unto eternal life. This is eternal value when you drink from the water that Jesus can give you. This woman had been with many men before and even the one that she was with now was not her husband and Jesus prophesied this to her. And she realized she's in the, in the presence of a real prophet here, but more than that, the son of God. And he sends her home after this and she goes and she testifies to who she met in the town. Listen to this. Believe me, dear woman, verse 21, the time is coming when it will no longer matter whether you worship the Father on the mountain or in Jerusalem. You Samaritans know very little about the one you worship, while we Jews know all about him. For salvation comes through the Jews, that's through Jesus. But the time is coming, indeed it is here now, when the true worshiper will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. The Father is looking for those who will worship him that way, for God is spirit. So those who worship him must worship in spirit and in truth. The woman said, I know the Messiah is coming, the one who is called Christ. When he comes, he will, be, he will explain everything to us. Then Jesus told her, I am the Messiah. Isn't this powerful? Jesus reveals himself to this woman and her life is changed forever. Reveals about her life. And this is what Jesus comes. He shows you where you are at. Isn't that what the Bible says? The word is a lamp unto my feet. The word Jesus comes and show you where you're at right now. If you're not in that place with Christ right now, if you're seeking other things to fulfill your life, won't you seek after Christ today? Let Him fulfill your life. Let your thirst be quenched. And from that place, you can live eternally. You can live abundantly. You can have perspective in life from God's perspective. Let me pray with you on this Transform Tuesday as we surrender our lives to Christ again. Father, I want to thank you for each one that is with us today, each one that is watching, each one that is seeking God. May each one be filled today with the Holy Spirit. May each one encounter Jesus today. I pray today that we would turn to you with our whole hearts, that we would throw away these idols that we are following, these things that we're looking for fulfillment in. Lord, but that we would make you our number one priority, Christ in our life first. And Lord, I pray that everything else will be added unto those that are seeking after you first in your kingdom. I ask this, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Amen. May, may, I pray that your life would be touched. Your life would be changed. I pray today that Christ would touch you by His Spirit. And that transformation would happen in your life over and over again. But that this relationship with Christ would, would shape every other thing in your life. Every other relationship. Every other thing you're seeking after. That at Christ, the relationship with Christ, through Jesus Christ, the Son of God, that your life will be changed forever. God bless you. If, you. if you made a decision today, please pop it in the comments below. I'd love to make contact with you. And if you're praying for something specific, let us know. We'd love to pray with you. God bless you on this Transform Tuesday. It is a beautiful day to praise the Lord. Amen.